In this video, I will teach you how to make a running total in Power Query. Stay tuned. Creating a running total is not something that's easily done in Power Query. I would always advise people to rather do it in DAX, but if for some reason you do need to do it and your data set is not in the size of millions and millions, then yeah, let's go ahead and see how we can solve it. So the data set I have here are simply 25 days in January. And for making the running total in the 1st of January, we're just gonna see 118. For the 2nd of January, we wanna see these two summed up. For the third one, we wanna see the first three summed up, etc. That's the idea of a running total. And to do that, you can go to the add columns color uh, section. You click on index column from one so that at least we know uh, which numbers are here. What's important to note is that when you add your index number, make sure that your data is sorted correctly because these numbers are gonna be used for the running total. So what you can do is you go to custom column and we're gonna write uh, running total. And to get our running total, we can use a function that is called the list first n. And what it will do is first it wants to have a list and you're gonna to have to indicate how many items from this list you wanna return. So our list could be all the values of the amount column. But since this amount column is, uh, you have to be careful here that you don't double click on the amount here because the problem with this is that if you do this, it's only going to reference the amount of the uh, respective row you're looking at. We want to get the entire column instead. And to do that, we need to first indicate in which of the steps our amount column is. So in our case, this will be the edit index step. So we can click our mouse button, hashtag quotation, edit index. And then we specify the amount column, which is already here now. And then the second argument asks for how many items of the list we need to retrieve. And the amount of items is found here in the index column. So you can reference that one and close your brackets. So in this first item here, you find that it finds 118. When you click next to the list for item two, you find 118 and 113, etc., cetera, et cetera. So what's left to get us the, the right result is that you go back to your custom column and you need to wrap this around list.sum. And you close your bracket. Okay. Now, in theory, we're done now. So if this is performing well for you, leave it like this, you're done. If it's a little bit slow, then one thing we could still do is you could reference this amount column and we can use a function that's called list.buffer. The list buffer in theory just holds the list of items in memory and each time it needs to do a calculation on top of it, it won't have to retrieve it again from the query, but it's still there in its memory. So to do that, what you can do is we can just have a separate step here. And from our, let me see, I, I want to I wanna actually add this before we make our run, running index, running total. So you go to this edit index one, and if you click on this button here, we know that we can reference first the previous tab, and we only wanna have the amount column. So by doing that, we're only gonna return the list. And what's left then is to wrap this one around the list.buffer. And for your own reference, please rename this step to buffered list. Now our last step will reference the buffered list already, but we don't want that. The buffered list is only later for in the, our list first n formula. So our first argument in the list uh, table add column function needs to be changed to the edit index one, because we want that table to be taken as a base. So you press edit index here. Okay. And the same out here, edit index. So at the current situation, nothing has changed yet. So there was one thing left to do, and that's that the list of first n, instead of referencing this earlier step, we're gonna reference the buffered list here. And by doing this, you get your running total and making use of this buffered part is supposed to make it much quicker. So 
If you're experiencing issues of being slow, you could always try that out and see how it helps. And if this added any value for you, make sure to like my video and look out for the new ones. See you next time.